Hi, I'm Davis from the Game Grazers, and welcome to another edition of Quick Bites. Today we're playing a game I got off... Wow, that is a bit uh, kind of annoying to see. Um, <laughs> today I'm playing a game called Reality Clash that I picked up of itch.io, which was also given away free on the uh, Let's Play My Game subreddits. So I figured I would go ahead, give it a shot, and see what uh, Andrea Pignataro has whipped up here and we'll see what we think. Let's give it a go. Carefully drag all the squares on the moving bar and release them on time. Let's go. Level one. I'm not sure... Alright, so I'm supposed to drag them. Oh, I dragged them on... Okay, <laughs> took a second to figure that out. So I have to drag them onto this bar and make sure they get on there. Okay, so we're on to level two. Oh god, it's moving faster. Uh, I, I will admit that the first thing I notice is this uh, pulsation effect. And it's kind of actually giving me a headache, and that's not really a good sign. Um, so, let's see, we're gonna drop these blocks in here, and we're gonna move on to level three. And... If this is all the game is, then that's kind of sad, but I'm not one to give up so fast, other than this is really kind of hurting my eyes and my head. So aesthetically, uh, zero marks out the gate, because it's just not going to happen. Supposedly this game is meant to be difficult to defeat, and she thinks that Someone eventually will beat it, but if it's really just dragging things on here, this is... I could have made something much more interesting myself, to be frank. Um, but that's neither here nor there. On to level 5, it was really just... Oh, it's more of the goddamn same. That, okay, seriously, this pulsating thing has got to end. It is just... recranculous. I'm not even really sure... how this qualifies as a game. It's just a glorified drag-and-drop tool. Though I will admit it's getting frustrating when I can't get things in there. <sighs> Stupid. I almost need to close my eyes that the pulsating is so bad. It It is literally atrocious and terrible. Level 6. Oh, and the thing got smaller. So, okay. Um... What? I got one, two, three, no, three, ah, fuck you, yeah, ah, god damn it. So, I'm having the issue of just trying to get these stupid squares in this thing, and if I, if I go into the next stage and it's, and it's just this again, this is just, this is getting fairly pathetic. Oh my gosh, come on. I can get these in here. Come on. Oh my, I'm spending way more time. Yes! Haha. -ha. I'll say the fact that I have to like reach all the way back. I mean, I understand what, what's going on here. It's sort of a... Give you a sense of fatigue, which is working. There we go. Ten. No! Fucking blocks, come here. No! Probably hang here because then I have more... I'm gonna fill the same space for a reasonably similar amount of time. And get the come and come back here, come back here, stupid freaking block thing. Level seven. Oh my uh, god! I, I, okay, literally my eyes cannot handle the pulsation anymore. It's just it is is driving me nuts. Um, so. It's not a very long episode today, but I am going to go ahead and put this on my grazing scale. And unfortunately, dear nice person who gave me a free copy of this game, um, I'm going to go ahead and have to put this in the trash. <laughs> it's uh, the pulsation is just too much. The and the just it's a simple drag and drop mechanic. I understand what's kind of going on. It's a nice little challenge to be sure, but it's just it's too simplistic. It's too plain. There's not really anything engaging or interesting about it. So, unfortunately, I thank you very much for providing a free copy, but sadly, into the trash it goes. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us on Quick Bites. If you like what we got, give us a like, leave a comment, possibly subscribe if you like what we're doing on Game Grazers, and we'll catch you next time. Ciao.